Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your uh, default checkout page. Uh, for example, if you uh, look at my screen, I have a checkout page which is uh, using the default header, sidebar and everything from the default theme. Uh, because all these uh, sidebars and headers are in my theme and it these are also showing on the checkout page so uh, today I'll go, I'll show you how to customize and make a beautiful checkout page uh, different from uh, your default site setting for this purpose uh, you will need a plugin uh, named cart flow uh, come to your admin dashboard and click on plugins add new on this page click on search keyword and type card flow press enter it's the plugin by card flows Inc click on install now click on activate after successfully activating the plugin you will uh, see a menu uh, by the name of card flows in your uh, admin dashboard click on flows On this page, click on Add New Flows. Here you will see uh, a different uh, templates for your checkout page. Uh, some of them are for Pro version. You can also uh, get the Pro version by clicking on this button. And some of them are free of cost. For example, this one, this one, and these two. Uh, for this uh, website, I'm going to use this first one. Click on Import. After importing, it will redirect you to the newly uh, created the flow and you can name it here my own checkout page. Okay, let me show you uh, currently uh, checkout page again. It's like this and once we are uh, done making the checkout page here uh, it will be something like uh, we chose the design okay mm. after giving it the name click on edit which is the checkout page okay first of all let's uh, save the changes click on update click on add new step and here you can uh, select the checkout tab and then choose the template for your new checkout just choose a free one uh, for example I'll go with this one or this one matching with my uh, website colors uh, it will be this one click on import Okay, the new step is already added. Uh, drag this step to the top of the page and delete the other option which says download the ebook or any other option. Uh, just leave checkout and thank you page. Okay, on checkout, click on edit. Come to the edit section. Uh, as we chose uh, Elementor page builder, uh, then you will see edit with Elementor button here mm, you can click on checkout offer uh, sorry checkout design and you can uh, do some tweaks or changes here and checkout fields checkout setting short codes okay this is the short code uh, for your page uh, just copy to clipboard we're gonna uh, use it on this link here I'm gonna open this link in a new tab also uh, you will have to uh, select this checkouts uh, to page on your default 
checkout page click on settings the card flow settings okay on this page uh, come to the global checkout general setting and select your page which you uh, just created save changes and here you can also select different page builder if you do not use elementor you can use beaver builder dv or other but uh, i'm using elementor so i'll leave this uh, the same okay after uh, saving this checkout page uh, just come to the flaws again and I already opened it with Elementor. Now as you can see uh, the Elementor page builder is open for this page and we also uh, coming to the flows and edit my own checkout page again. Uh, in this uh, page you can edit the header or the footer here with Elementor you can add questions or images or anything you want to uh, add to your default checkout page but uh, this section will remain the same as uh, your um, uh, default checkout settings from uh, here to uh, there and all other settings can be changed using Elementor so uh, if you come to the um, flow edit flow again and click on edit checkout on this page uh, in the select product section you will have to leave this uh, select product empty and when you uh, come back to the uh, my own uh, cart flow you will also uh, have to uncheck a checkbox will which will be appeared here Uh, make sure that this checkbox is uh, not checked if, if it's like this then you will have to uncheck this box okay now uh, let's check this checkout page come to our shop page click on any product select an option or if let's uh, choose a different this one add to cart click on view cart click on proceed to checkout and here is a customized uh, checkout page the header and footer is uh, from Elementor and all other settings are from our default checkout page uh, remember to select the checkout default checkout page from the flaws settings click on flaws settings I'll open it in a new tab uh, if it's not uh, selected here then uh, when you come to the mm, checkout page refresh this page you will see the old checkout uh, format but uh, if you come to settings again and click and select checkout to page save changes now come to the shop page again click on any product click on add to cart view card proceed to checkout and you will see the new uh, design you just created with uh, card flow okay that's all for today's video uh, if you you are new to the channel and you never subscribe our channel please consider subscribing our channel by clicking subscribe button below this video and click on this notification bell uh, so you won't miss our new updated videos also this channel is not monetized uh, it is requested if you uh, do not have a web hosting then click on this link uh, which will redirect you to the Bluehost and when you buy uh, hosting from them then uh, they will pay some commission 
so um, it will be a lot of uh, help for our channel thank you